forgot to get up that then I won the say then I looked and the whole of the firmament that was above the head of the, the cherub the cherub they appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone Then I want to say that I looked and the hole in the firmament that was above the head of the turban, they appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone right. as the appearance of the likeness of a throne of a throne. And, and the appearance of a likeness of a what? Of a throne. So when we told you all that the throne of God is in the chariot, we are not lying. I think I put a video on that human video in fact that God's throne is in the chariot. It's in the chariot. Read it over again. He said, then I looked and I and the hole in the firmament. There was a uh, what that was above head of the turban. They appeared over them as it were a sapphire stone. A sapphire stone, where? As the appearance of the likeness of a throne. Like a, a where? And he spake unto the man clothed with linen and And he spake unto the man what? Clothed with linen. Because, it, it, because when he began saw the wheel in the wheel, he said in, in, in the wheel that was in the wheel, so when he looked into the midst of it, he saw one like unto the son of man sitting on the throne. Neither we know when, when we pray at night and we look up this can we see the chariot start we know, we know our prayer is directed to Almighty God, the Father. You everybody else have a friend? Read. And he spake unto the man, told his linen, and said, Go in between the wheels. He go in, go in where? Right? Between the wheels. He said, he spake unto the man, and said, Go in between the wheels. What? He put another cherub and filled thine hand with coals. And filled thy hand with what? With coals of with, fire. With coals of fire. That reminds us of Ezekiel. Some you can make Ezekiel. Some Ezekiel. Isaiah 6. Isaiah yeah, where? Isaiah chapter 6, where? Because we know that these chariots, these chariots are fire. You understand? We see how we see them. We see them. So the chariots are going to be a whole ball of fire. You understand? The chariots are going to be a like fire. So when you know the Lord go and get this fire and spread it all over the city. So we are here, here. But we know that that is proven. And 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 we know that that is proven. I I and the day that King Isaiah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon his throne. He saw also the Lord what? Sitting upon his throne. He said he saw the Lord sitting upon his throne. Read. High and lifted up. What he lost to he was what? High and lifted up. He saw the Lord sitting upon his throne and he was high and exalted. Lifted up. Read. And his train filled the temple. And his trail what? Filled the temple. And his trail, which means the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Read. Above the stood the seraphim. Above it said the what? The seraphim. Seraphim what? Each one had six wings. Each one of them had six wings, like these girls saw them, one touching another. And wherever the spirit was to go, they go, they went. Read. With twin covered his face. He done with twin he covered his face. Read. And with twin he covered his feet. What? And with twin he had a fly. Yeah, and he did fly. What? And one cried and to another and said, Holy, holy, holy. What do you want to say? Holy, holy, holy. So those, 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 those noise that you are scared, the chariots moving in. What do you think of the Lord say? Holy, holy, holy. They're saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And they're actually visiting the earth. That's why two-thirds of these Uyghurs are going to be put to death for them and for them receiving God's word. Or you feel you can work it out and you feel you can't work it out. Because he's the guest of our hopeless. All I saw in here was lamentation and woe and mourning. Read. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy is what? The Lord of hosts. Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Read. The whole earth is full of His glory. The whole earth is what? It's full of His glory. The whole earth will be full of His glory. Read. And the hosts of the throne move for the voice of the earth and cry. Read. And the hosts of the earth is full. And the house was what? Was filled with smoke. And the house was filled with smoke. Smoke represents the incense or the prayers of the clay. Read. And then, and then said I, woe is me. And then said I, then, then, 
Because when, he, when Isaiah saw the presence of the Lord and understand what's going on, he said, Well, who is me to stand in this presence, in his presence? Who is me and just flesh and blood? And this wicked glorify itself in this world, boy. All the evil they think are doing, they're doing. Read that. It says, For I am undone. For I am what? I am undone. For I am undone. Read. Because I am a man of unseen lips. Why is the guy realizing that was what? Because I am a man of unseen lips. Yeah, he was a man of his lips. He said, Yes, yes. It's what it takes to be in the presence of the Lord. Is because um, Isaiah said, Well, I am a man, Lord, of unclean lips. He started examining himself. Read. And I dwell in the midst of the people. And I dwell in the midst of a what? Of the people. Where? Of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of people of what? Unclean lips. Of unclean lips. Where are? So my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. He said, For my eyes have behold what? And see the king, the Lord of hosts. He said, My eyes have behold the king, the Lord of hosts. And that very testimony is what we testify into the world today. Repent. Man, because it's not to be in the Bible where the prophet them see glory and the Mosai. And they were shocked like our praise on Simon did that. When they when he saw the glory and the Lord. When I was shy, he saw and he said Simon did that I was fishing on the toil and they didn't catch they didn't catch no fish. And after they went down and he, you know, the fish stole me boot. He was like, Lord it um I, I am a sinner. I am not worthy to be in your presence. You understand? And I'm going on another instance where Elias and Moses come from his chariot. And I tell you, you're not, you're not. Elias and Moses come down from his chariot. And the Lord chants bigger. You understand? The Lord is in chains from the people. We call it mortal body. Let's get Oh, no, you have you have yeah, 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 yeah. I see I yeah, hold 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 on. They saw the power of the Lord, and when they see the power of the Lord, they, 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 they marvel because they just like um, say, I am undone. You understand the reason why you say you're undone? Because you being able to see these things. Um, wait, wait, what? Well, Peter, I think Peter was saying, um, Lord, is it safe for me to be in your presence? You understand? All right, bring it out. In fact, you was exposed to expose. Yeah, come on this side. Yeah, the book of Matthew chapter 17 and verse 1. Well, and after six days, you have a shine. Take a picture of James and John, his brother. And bring it them up into an high mountain apart. Right. Well, so you see that the Yahweh Shai was traveling with the um, disciples and take him up into a mountain. You understand? Well, and was transfigured before them. And was what? And was transfigured before them. Break it down here. Yeah, you know, when you say he transfigured, he changed from the from, from, from mortal body to the immortal. They, they, they could actually glow on his birth. You understand? They need the power, the most high. They could actually power. And that, and that was the first time he did that before, then. Go ahead. Yeah. And that's what I said. 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 That's what you are in an immortal, in an immortal, but in immortal state. Go ahead. And his raiment was white as as light. Yeah, as the raiment, light. right? Yeah. And his raiment was white as the light. So his raiment represents the clothing. Go ahead. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with them. And so when they say they appeared, Moses and Elias, they came in a chariot. You understand? Because that have got our tongues on the same scripture and different, different, um, different scriptures that tell you and a cloud appeared. You understand? And when the cloud appeared, Moses and Elias was there. And they were they were in, in the spiritual form because that was this was in um, this was in Matthew. You understand? Moses, that was even in Moses' days here, he died and born. So 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 what body they appeared in? The glorified body. Uh -huh. Or what they call the extraterrestrial body that is promised to the elect in this time. Well, then answered Peter and said unto Yahushai, Lord, is it good for us to be here? Man, because the same thing, um, 
what tell what say Lord I, I am undone I witness all the glory all the all, all your glory and see what, what the Lord could do for other things the Lord I just could do so the same thing with God went down with Matthew here Matthew was witnessing the power the Lord and he was like Lord is it, is it, do you want me to be here yeah, sorry, you to that part. Yeah. then I'm so Peter and said unto you how we shine Lord, is it good for us to be here? God, is it good for me to be in the presence of this? Because all the glory I take in at once, you understand? Is it, is it good for me to be here? Well, go ahead. If thou will, let us make me a tree tabernacle, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. Yeah, because they didn't understand it as yet. Go ahead. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud God. overshadowed them. God. And behold, a voice out of the cloud would say, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. So in other words, him. yeah, don't, don't, don't go with your vain opinion. The Lord had to correct them and tell them, no, this is my beloved son. Here he him. You understand? So, 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 so the way to this transfiguration for we put on immortality is through Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit. Everybody understand that? Yeah. If you're not baptized with the Holy Spirit, this body will not put on immortality. If you die to the old man, this body shall not put on immortality. Everybody understand this? What? When he yet speak, the holy bright cloud overshadowed them. When they were, while they were speaking, I was trying to give them a bright cloud, which is a revenant chariot. Right? The chariot overshadowed them, and out of the chariot, you hear the Lord's voice speaking unto them and saying, This is my son, follow him. Well, uh, yeah, because Dai Dai Yahawa vindicating his son to be the son of God. Everybody understand them? That it vindicating that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. Everybody understand this thing? And behold, a voice of the cloud would say, This is my beloved son, God. in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were so afraid. And the reason why they are afraid because they were missing the glory of the Messiah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Again, when you go back into Isaiah, Isaiah said, And who is me, Lord? I am a man of unclean lips. I am undone. I am undone. And I do my intent, we are to be taken in. You understand? We are more ready to focus on making yourself perfect. Because as the young man right now said, if you don't get yourself right, you can't witness that power, you can't get into that mindset, you will never get to that exactly as you are going to continue. Isaiah 6 here. Well, Right. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, Where? and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, Where? for my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. For my eyes have seen what? The king, the Lord of hosts. Where? Then flew one of the seraphims. Then flew what? One of the seraphims. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Where? Unto me, having a life full in his hand. Where? Which he had taken with the tongues from of the altar. But right, see, having a life code. What did life code represent? The Holy Spirit. Everything about the chariots and, and the presence of God, if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, you wouldn't understand it. Read. And he laid it upon my mouth and, and he said, laid it low. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, What? Lord, this has touched thy lips. So the baptism that we receive in this time is not an external baptism, but a what? An internal baptism. Because here we say the angel said, Behold, this as what? This as what? Read it again. Yeah, it said, And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this touched my lips. He said, Below, this touched my lips. Read. My lips. And thy iniquity is taken away. So thy iniquity represents your sin. So your sin now is taken away. So when a man tell me I go to church and my pastor baptized me in the water and thing like that, you have you you, you still didn't meet the Lord yet? Yeah, because that really represents um, um, Psalms. Um, Give me Revelation eight, eight, three and five. Let's say when we just tell a young man, when we just tell a young man ten to eight, I say give me that word. That's the only way you can really get the blessing. Give me, give me Jerry. May I have one and nine somebody? Yeah, I look up after that, but they have come to that. Get it? Yeah, read. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 8, and verse 3. Where? And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. A golden what? Censer. Where? And there was given unto him such incense. And it was given unto him what? Much incense. And there was given unto that angel much incense. Read. That he should offer it with the prayers of all saints. That he should offer it with what? With the prayers of all saints. Where? Of 
upon the golden altar well, for the children. Well, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers. Now the smoke sin. of the incense which came with our, like our prayers, that smoke represents what the glory of God. You understand the atmosphere of the Lord vindicating our prayers to be so, so it goes before the Lord like sweet incense. Well, ascended up before God, before the power. Ascended up before your power, power, real. Out of the angel's hand. Out of the what? The angel's hand. So you know every time you, 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 you pray, our prayers go before the Lord and the prayers you said just today that goes before the Lord? Can? Can. Well, and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire and of the altar. He said, so the angel took the censer and filled it with what? Fire of the altar. He said he took the sense and filled it with fire. Fact, fire represents what? That fire we baptize and you receive from the Lord. Everybody understand this thing? Read. And cast it into the earth. Well, and there was voices and thunderings and lightnings and, and earthquakes. And the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to song. I just want that. Well. Yeah, well. Look at Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Well, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Then the Lord put his hand and touched what? And touched my mouth. And you notice know, every prophet that the Lord said to all the Jeremiah, you will never back to them, right? You know, you never to read one day when the Lord tells you to come by any prophet and you never dip this water and bring it back up and you go to go. Always the Lord touching them from the inside. Actually, they never inside. So when you see the word, it was God said the Lord. Oh, everything in the Bible is a metaphor and a parable of we being baptized with the Holy Spirit. Everybody understand this thing? Okay. Read. And the Lord said unto me, yes. Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. He said, the Lord said unto me, I have what? Put my words in thy mouth. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Read. Yeah. The book of John chapter 6 and verse 63. But it is the spirit that quickness. Beautiful, so that is the same scripture that is called it. Like the spirit. Yeah. It is the spirit that quickness. The flesh profited nothing. He said it is quick. The spirit that quickness, the flesh profited nothing. Read. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. Read over again, huh? Look at John chapter 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened. No, the Lord didn't say it's the water that quickened them. What dipped them in some water and they started to get quicker. Read over again. Yes, look at John chapter 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickened. Let us out of Hamashiach's own mouth, the one you call Christ. The spirit that quick met, well, the flesh profited nothing. This flesh profited nothing. The outer man profited nothing. Well, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He said, But the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are what? They are life. And they are life. He said, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Well, I just on that. But think about it in Isaiah 6. Bring it out. Isaiah 6 continuing. What? Um, I'll be back to the 6. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me. He said, Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, read. Having a life cold in his hand. Have, what are we having a what? A life cold in his hand. That life cold is the representation of the Holy Spirit, read. Which Everything is meant upon parable of the Holy Spirit, read. Which he had taken with the tongues from of the altar. He said, which he had taken with the tongues from of the altar, read. And he laid it upon my mouth and what did, said. What did the Lord do? He laid it upon my mouth and he Lord, said. He said, he laid it upon my mouth and said, well. This had touched thy lips. He said, this has touched thy lips. And I was a clean air from the inside out. And, and I guess every partner, for you Christians out there, I guess every, every partner, so if you probably get clean from the inside out, you will not be the way he is. But when you baptize him outwardly and not inwardly, he remains what he is. Read. And thine iniquity is taken away. And thy iniquity is what? It's taken away. The Lord will lie. It's saying it in the scripture. When you baptize him inwardly, your iniquity is what? It's taken, taken away. away. Meaning that you die to the old man and the put on the new man, which is what? Renew the knowledge. And thy sin hurts. And thy sin is what? 
punch. What up? going to be the curse that will come over this whole earth. Weeping, moaning, and gashing of teeth. And then they will be saying, why, why I wasn't listening to them, brothers? Why I didn't come and join the congregation? Why I didn't get myself right with the Lord? Read. For everyone that steal it shall be cut off. He said, for everyone that steal it shall be what? Shall be cut off. For everyone that steal it shall be cut off. Read. As on this side, according to it. According to what? According to it. No, that's stealing part, but back to who? Either. So they stole what? God's possession, which is the Israelite, and all his goodly, holy things they stole. Yeah, and over them, right? And then this script is well. Yeah, I was supposed to say that, but that's the spirit. That's the spirit. You give me the, hold on, give me the uh, Exodus. Yeah. Then tell the Exodus 20 and 15, it says, Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not steal. Hey, that's the commandment. So what the curse coming over to do, the, the man that stole God's possession, he's going to feel it from the Lord. He's going to feel the mighty hand of Yahweh and he's going to upon him. It's a simple thing. Thou shalt not steal. Read. This book of Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 6. Read. Therefore had the curse before the earth. Had the curse what? Before the earth. He said, therefore the curse. This curse before what the whole earth. Read. And they that dwell herein are desolate. He said, and they that dwell in upon the face of the earth are what? Desolate. Are desolate. This whole thing has become a desolation. Hey, the woman, the uh -huh. sister, that's why in this vision, we just don't talk about that. The brother wife, I think he's, I think he's from the northern, the northern kingdom. He said, and his wife called the vision that she saw people when the chariot zapping the place. You understand know what I'm saying? You see, okay, become so a, a, a watchman. She said, what all she can do is pull out the spirit. Why? Yeah, she Why they didn't listen? Why the people were so? Why they didn't hear him? Hey, maybe she was back chatting she has fun. And God took the spirit and showed she wanted to become a king. Done. Hey, but I'm not going to be alive. My words is alive. But you see this here? Let this alone be true, that. Okay. Read up again, I'm, I'm Kyle. Therefore, had the curse before the earth. He said, the curse what? Before the earth. He said, therefore, had the curse before the earth. Read. And they that dwell therein are desolate. He said, they that dwell therein are what? 
Desolate. At Desolate. Read. Yeah, you give my second Ezra 13. The one that walks through with thousands of heaven. Read. Therefore, the, the inhabitants of the earth are burned. Therefore, the inhabitants of the heaven are what? Are burned. He said, therefore, it's burned. And the Lord destroy left. destroy the Lord destroy everything. Our people trust in lies. They believe that the world will be a better place. It will not. The Lord says lamentation and woe. Read. And, and few men left. And what? Few men left. So who was those few men that was left? The elect boy. You know the Bible said he mixed and what? In the earth. Read that. Yeah, where? The new white monet, the new the divine language, language, or the merry, merry hearted side. He said the new wine language. He said all the merry hearted, all they that make merry and mirth in this place, do sigh and cry. Because all what he was living for, it becomes nothing. Guys, it's on that. Bring, bring, bring out the second no, hold on. You have some data for me? Say and lo, and I beheld and lo, that man wax drunk with the thousands of heaven. Start from verse, start from the very top. This is Second Ezra chapter thirteen verse one. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea. Break it on your car. And there arose a wind from the sea. You understand because you don't understand that. Um, Read over again for him. Yeah, this is Second Ezra chapter thirteen verse one. It says, and it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea. He said there was a what? There arose a wind from the sea. What? That it moved all the waves thereof. That it moved all the what? Waves thereof. All the waves represent all the nations that move. All these metaphor like metaphor and parable. Well, yeah. and I beheld and know that man what? Now who is that man? Yeah. That man is the Lord. I hear how much I read. What's strong with the thousands of heaven? What is the thousands of heaven? Some give me Psalm sixty-eight yeah. and verse seventeen. Bring it out. The yeah, book of Psalm chapter sixty-eight and verse seventeen. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000. What did the Lord say? The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000. Hey, the chariots of the Lord is 20,000. Gina Maria Calvin seen it on YouTube. Ain't no time to waste time and, and, and feel like something will get better in Trinidad. Nothing again better in this country. Getting worse and worse. You watch the news last night. What did the Minister of Health say? Is the thing rising in the country more? So my advice to you, my friend, is to seek the Lord, repent of your sins, and turn to Him. You're looking for answers? Turn to the God of Jacob. Read. And just, uh, uh, just to show that they're, they're coming down more heavy and more drastic in laws and, and measurements, right? Because what, what the Prime Minister said, that it would not have a, a continuation at the, um, at the lockdown at the same time we can see, right? So after they remove that, that is what going to happen. If you remove Can. the lockdown, you're not going to happen to the world. You're not going to happen to this whole country. It's a, it's a bunch of dead people they will see. Because this one go give that one, that one go give that one. I'm sure it's going to happen. Can. Which will force them now to come with and, measure. And now they will come with death measure. Sorry, death measure here. That is what they will come with kicking on your door so you will have to receive this. Why not repent and turn to the Lord? Why not seek him while he's there to be found? Read! Say, yeah. Verse 3. And I beheld and lo, that man walked strong with the thousands of heaven. And I beheld that man. Who is that man? The Lord walked strong with thousands of heaven. Now hold on. Give me, give me yeah, up Psalm 68 again. This book of Psalm chapter 68 and verse 17. Where? The chariots of your power are 20,000. Yeah, when the world gets chaotic and, 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 and no order, and no nothing, I mean, it's the Lord to come and bring back order. Because the, 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 when you're going to second Ezra 16, he said they will not be God, the king or the princess. There's going to be a whole anarchy out here. So who will bring back order? The Lord. 
The Bible says that the kingdom of this world has become a king, the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. And he shall reign upon the earth. Read that. Even thousands of angels. Even what? Thousands of angels. Even thousands of angels. Go ahead. The Lord is among them. Who is among them? The Lord is among them. The Bible said the Lord is among them. This whole thing happening is the Lord saying it up. For he to make his entrance. Well, that they would regard the king or the princess is that, hey, even, even the, uh, the president and the prime minister, they, they, the they will come down to the same level as the normal man, right? It wouldn't have no, no rich or no poor in that day. They will be the same, it will be a level playing field. And if, if, if all you know, by, hey, you have a shame, if all you know, how close he is to coming at the Lord. Uh, I'm not doing this because I feel to do this. I'm doing this because we're compelled by the Holy Spirit to do it. Uh, read it over again. Uh, uh. The chariots of the power are 20,000. 20,000. They do not gather in them. You might not see them with your physical eye, but they do not gather right now. Over we head right now. Legions are angels. Uh. You can't see them, but they're there. Uh, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. And who is among them? The Lord is among them. That is why when Ezekiel saw the wheel and the wheel, he looked, behold, there came one like unto the Son of Man, sitting on the throne with a rainbow over his head. Read. As in Sinai in the holy place. As in Sinai in the holy place. That is it on that. Bring out the scripture. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Well, for behold, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai will come with fire. Behold, the Lord will come with what? Fire. The Lord will come with what? With fire. The Lord will come with no hogs and kids. The Lord come with fire. With what? With fire. Read. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. And with the chariots like a what? Like a whirlwind. How the chariots going to be like? A whirlwind. A whirlwind. You ever see a tornado how it does move? You can fathom that. You don't know what direction they come coming. They look here. You're trying to run, so it might come, so it might come. So like here, yeah, read that. To render his anger with fury. To render his what? His anger with fury. To render his anger with fury. You know what the Lord said in that scripture? I'm trying to remember the scripture the Holy, the Holy Spirit who gave back. The Lord said I will get drunk to do that thing. The Lord said I will drunk myself to do that thing. Just as I was supposed to, to, to drink and rejoice, to bless Israel, I'll drunk and get drunk to kill them all. Now the Bible says, slay now, they're going to be like, Peter, my son, if I do get up from my eye, I will ask, my son shall be paid in heaven. Why did you saw the chariot? Like another metaphor for the king. He saw the chariot of the Lord. He said, his son could be paid in heaven with blood. We are over again, Isaiah 66. So behold, the Lord will come with fire. So behold, the Lord coming with what? With fire. The Lord coming with fire. Best thing for a brother to do is repent and turn to him, boy. Turn to him. Ain't no bad man thing out there. There's only one man running things out there, like the Lord. Like super cats, the whole running thing, but God Almighty. You can use a bad man, you can help, you can help yourself at that time, Rich. Read. Read that. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, the Bible said, but the Holy Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. You see, you in that wrong spirit. The spirit we and you not in that spirit. You carry that contrary spirit. If you only know the spirit we and you will cry as a child. You will tremble at the presence of God. Read. Run How can the spirits come in and you can see the spirits in right? But the scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. And then it trickle along to the small man. Read up. To render his anger with fury. To render his anger with what? With fury. With fury. The Lord anger will be fury, not fury, anger. And the kind of anger that as an apostle described, he said, you don't want to get into eyes. He said that is anger with no reason. In that day, he go, wait, I'll tell you, Lord. Let me Lord to get to the wrong reason. Reason what? Read, right anger with no reason. But the Bible says it could be a righteous anger in hell. Hold on, bring, bring out the precept. If you look at Romans chapter 9 and 27, it says, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, 
say Jordan above the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea. He said, but Jordan above the children of Israel be like the what? The sand of the sea. Yeah, they're like the sand of the sea. I want mission is to love with people to bring them back to the God of the heritage, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read! It says, a, re a remnant shall be saved. A remnant shall be what? Shall be saved. That is the excitement thing about it. A remnant shall be saved. Are you watching she went to the church and you go from 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 the church and the Lord of Syria so is my precious baby. The Lord can kill everything. The Lord only see me as just spirit. Every one of us is a spirit boy. Yeah. From the little baby go back for I want the Lord to set that man. Because if they set that man for him on a particular spirit, the Lord will know who it is. Them people are spirit with him for why. That's why you the man represents the blood. The blood represents the word. So when I see the blood, I will pass over you. But if the blood does not apply, he will change you. See? For he will finish the work and cut it short. He will finish the work and what? And cut it short in our, righteousness. And listen, our work, this work, what work is he talking about? This work, we, this work going to be cut very short, very soon. We will not be out there no more. I keep telling brother Stad, brother doesn't understand. This work we do, it will be cut very short. And read. It's here because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. It's a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. Read. Going to take the destruction, you understand? Can. And as it's as and as it's twofold. It really means it, it goes into the destruction, but it also talks about the men and the Lord will have a choice. Remember yeah. the scripture that we only have three and a half years of prophesying. And after that is the judgment of her. That's why when you read it, say, we'll still need to do what again. That's how real it is. That's how real. You don't know. Anything can happen at any God given time. But the Lord can tell you when it when, when something gonna happen and you only Lord good so the Lord said we will come as a thief and you know that thief a thief let a thief tell you when he come and he's no damn thief. Right, the worry no what we say he is the same for you will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness in that you cut well, it short. Right? But then after when go on to say, because in short work will the Lord make upon the earth, but it's how quick you don't deal with deal with the instruction here. The destruction here going to be upon the earth real soon. Bring it up. I have to bring it up. Right? That's why verse 29 says, and as Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth had left the Lord of the Lord of Sabaoth. Now what the Lord of Sabaoth? What the word Sabaoth means? Sabaoth means army. The Lord of army. We dealing with chariots. We dealing with allegiance of angels about to invade the earth. What do the angels want to do? Come in to invade the earth. You, you think Bombs and guns and what, 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 what they have out there could fight against the force that never. No, the only thing a man has to do is repent and turn to the Lord. That's all that is the only option you have. Everything else is fables and lies. And the Bible says the trust in lying words, boy. And never mind, I would have I run and demand them, but I said, boy, Lord of this. But I don't know. I don't know what's going right, sir. Anyway, let me, let me continue. Right? We know the verse 29, it says, And as Isaiah said before, Except the Lord of Sabaoth had left us a seed, we had, we had been as Sodom and had been like unto Gomorrah. He said the Lord, a seed represents the, rem the remnant, right? And if the in. Lord didn't have a, rem a remnant remain, He said then we would have been like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. But what the Lord decided to do, He said, I preserve me, um, I want to say the Indian 3,000 men that were not bound to be the idol. 7,000 men, actually 7,000. So, for that 7,000. That's all for that. That will not bow down to the system. You know, they are representing the system. You only see where they represent coming from. Come, let them have that. Yeah, we all come. And Lord for the Lord. We all them all the what we can gain in the world. We come to the Lord for the Lord for us. Well, that. You are next from the next from to your going to your party and going there. Okay. Right, in Romans 9 and 29, it says, and Isaiah said before, except the Lord of Sabaoth had left us a seed, we had been as Sodom and we had been like unto Gomorrah. If the Lord didn't let us see, which is a remnant, we'd be like what? Sodom and we'd be like unto Gomorrah. Sodom and we'd be like Gomorrah. So we know that that seed of the remnant and the seed of the remnant, we are. Promise that the Lord didn't have to be wrong. I love and they come from the lineage. You understand? You see, very represent that. 